Beispiel. In this demo, we'll be installing Casting K10 by Veeam via the OpenShift operator, available within the OpenShift operator hub and the Red Hat OpenShift marketplace. Casting K10 can help you and your organization back up, protect, and move workloads on your OpenShift clusters. Installing K10 to an OpenShift cluster is extremely easy. You can do so either via Helm, or as we'll see in this demo, via the OpenShift operator. We'll start by authenticating to our newly deployed OpenShift cluster. If I have a look at the pods currently running, we'll see all the default pods for OpenShift in the cluster. I'll navigate to the Operators tab and click on the Operator Hub. I'll search for Kasten and I can see three results returned from the marketplace, which align to the different pricing models available for Kasten K10 licensing. In this demo, we'll deploy the Enterprise Paygo edition, but the deployment process and feature set of the other K10 offerings is exactly the same. I'll choose Install to begin the deployment wizard. I'll leave the default option of deploying to the Kasten IO namespace, as well as the update approval set to automatic. One advantage of deploying via operator is the ability to automatically update both the K10 operator and subsequent K10 deployments whenever a new version of the operator is published. If undesired, you can change update approval to manual. I'll now click install to deploy the K10 operator to my cluster. After a few minutes, the installation will complete and I can click view operator to finalize the configuration of K10. Under the operator dashboard, I'll select K10 where I can see no operons have been deployed yet. I'll select Create K10, where I'll have a number of options to configure my deployment. For this demo, we'll use basic HT password authentication, where I've used an HT password online generator to create a hashed entry. Note that Casting K10 supports OpenShift's OAuth server for authentication, which we'll see how to configure in another demo. Next, I'll select the option to enable the K10 dashboard to be exposed via an OpenShift route. I'll click Create to deploy K10. I'll navigate to Workloads, Pods, to monitor the deployment and wait for all pods to be ready. I'll now navigate to Networking, Routes, to find the newly exposed route so I can access the K10 dashboard. Clicking on the route, I'm met with an HT password auth prompt, where I'll enter the credentials I had previously used to generate the HT password hash. Next, I'm met with a Kasten K10 EULA, which I've read, reviewed, consulted with my in-house counsel, and accepted. I'll simply enter my email address and organization, after which point I have a fully functional Casting K10 deployment, ready to be configured to backup, restore, or move workloads on my freshly deployed OpenShift cluster. To learn more about the Casting K10 OpenShift operator, visit docs.casten.io. And if you haven't looked at how K10 can provide backup, disaster recovery, and application mobility for your Kubernetes apps, visit us at the link on the screen to access your free, fully featured license today.